This video shows how to get pictures from Picasa through its REST API and XML feed. Then how to build both a desktop application and a web page served by Farah itself to display them. The main world menu is open by clicking on the background. For more readability I increase the font size. Through the settings browser. Picasa provides a RESTful API through which we can search for photos and get the result as an XML document. Just copy the provided URL and paste it into a Faro workspace. A workspace is used to dynamically evaluate small talk code. Let's search for five photos of lighthouses. Zincline allows you to build, execute and process HTTP requests. The XML feed is successfully retrieved, but it's not easy to examine it as a raw string. Faro doesn't have any built-in XML parser, but we can easily install one from the configuration browser. The configuration browser installs MetaChella configurations, which describe groups of packages and their dependencies for each version of Faro. Once done, the XML DOM parser class is loaded into Faro, and we can use it to pass the XML feed. Faro comes with awesome debugging tools. Using the Explorer we can browse the entire object graph which makes it easy to inspect the hierarchy of XML nodes. Each photo is described by an entry tag which contains a title tag and the URL in a source attribute of the content tag. From the inspector you can access the class definition of any object using the browse class menu entry. The default class browser is named Nautilus. It offers a large range of tools to browse and modify classes. We can dynamically evaluate some small talk code in the context of the Explorer. From the root node of the XML document we can retrieve all children nodes that are named Entry. The keyword self is bound to the object that is selected in the explorer. Here, self is the object that holds the title element. Now it's the entry element. And now self is the root node of the XML document. Here we get the content of all title tags in an array. Let's do something similar to get all the photo URLs. I want to store the title and URL for each photo in a Picasa photo object using title and URL messages. The Picasa photo class doesn't exist yet, but remember Faro is a live environment and we can create it on the fly. The Picasa photo class will be stored in a new category named Picasa. Done. Now, but now Farah opens a debugger because the title method doesn't exist yet for Picasa photo. Again, we can create this on the fly. Methods are grouped into protocols for easier method browsing. Your name will be used to track authors of changes like in a version control system. Implement the method directly in the debugger without stopping the evaluation. Faro also automatically detects missing variables and adds them when you choose to. The Picasa photo class with title message is here. You can browse it. Done. We call that debugger driven development. Just inspect, 
manipulate objects and let Faro help you go faster. Now let's move this code into a new Picasa class with the class side method named search for. The comma message is used to concatenate two collections and string objects are collections of character objects. I would like to delegate the implementation of search for to the instance side. Faro comes with powerful refactoring tools that help me do that. The format menu entry is used to rearrange code automatically to follow conventions. Let's extract this code into a new method using extract method refactoring. and inline the content variable in order to remove it. The Picasa basic search is working. Now let's display the photos in a Morphic window. Morphic is the graphic system used in Faro. On top of Morphic, UI theme and Polymorph, builders help to easily create graphical applications. The new row method of the class T easily themed and the new column method arrange morphs horizontally and vertically. The image morph method will download the photo from Picasa. Again, the Zinc HTTP framework comes with useful classes to make this easy. Then it answers a morph object from the photo to be displayed in the morphic window. But it would be better with scroll bars. I changed the scroller layout policy to a table layout so its submorphs holding the content will be automatically placed horizontally. I'd like the size of the window to be 600 pixels square. Oops, syntax error. Finally, I will add the title of each image below. A way is to wrap each image and title in a column. The title method does not exist yet for Picasso Faro. We create this after the error and continue execution. See how Faro proposes the default implementation? Now we're done. The last part of this tutorial shows how to create and serve a web page that will display the result of a Picasso search using Zinc HTTP components.
we can create a web application by implementing the value method in a new class. and map a URL subpath to an instance of this class using the method ZN default server delegate message map to. The our request argument is a ZN request object which answers the URI with a ZN URL object from which we can parse the query string. I retrieve the S parameter of a URL like Now let's build a method that we will compose the HTML response. We want to do this via debugger driven development, but the default ZN server deactivates the debugger for production use. We can activate it through the debug mode message. Then we can start implementing missing methods as we go, the same as we've done before. The stream contents method is used to build a string through the text string object that offers better performance than simple concatenation. Each photo and title will be displayed through UL and LI HTML tags. Note the web browser is still waiting for the response while implementing the method in the debugger. So there's no need to refresh the page after clicking proceed with the execution from the error. So it's time to enjoy Faro.